early trigger warnings for this one, our protagonist Nora has mental illness, especially trigger warnings for OCD, agoraphobia, and self-harm. There are, I'm, I'm saying it now, there are two scenes where she um, self-harms and uh, there are several, several scenes where she gets triggered her agoraphobia gets triggered and her OCD is very uh, prevalent is that the right word obvious anyway so we have Nora she is uh, 17 years old this is about her life struggles and her meeting her neighbor her new neighbor uh, look who is uh, a new student in her past school. She is now homeschooled by her mother who works in sales, especially specializing in construction materials. Um, her father is somewhere out there missing in action with an extra marital affair. And while Luke's parents are almost the opposite of them her mo his mother is a flight attendant and his father has we can say the opposite of uh, Nora's agoraphobia he can't stay in one place he gets depressed I don't know what that illness is called but he can't stay in one place he gets depressed so he has to travel as much as he loves his wife and his son he just can't stay for longer than two months or he gets very very sick so the story is about Nora uh, being a friend to Luke or the other way Luke being a friend to Nora he becomes intrigued by Nora and he earns her trust by treating her as if she is a normal teenager just like him uh, he stays with her he knows her boundaries uh, she's not he's not forcing her to go out he brings the outside world to her it's really really a good uh, dynamic of their friendship i just hope that they did not end as girlfriend and boyfriend in the story but a romance comes in it would have been nice if they are just really really good friends but we can't avoid it because Nora is written as an agoraphobic but very beautiful and then we have Luke who is weird and awkward but very handsome so a romance is inevitable i just wish that it was just friendship and yeah. i mean you can't cure mental illness with romance believe me i know though having a significant other helps they anchor you keeps you grounded and keeps you afloat which is how look uh, becomes here for Nora I kind of relate to her because I experienced severe agoraphobia I was homebound for a year and then I'm slowly recovering from it I am because of the pandemic I am homebound but it's it's a normal living situation for me I still can't leave our house alone but at least now I can leave because for that whole entire year I, I just really can so I can relate to her on that part and her relationship with her mother I can relate to that also it was my mom who took it is still my mom who is taking care of me aside from my dad and my sisters but the dynamics here with her mom is so relatable i enjoyed this book overall i recommend this but 
you have to be mentally stable, I guess. I mean, I may not be that mentally strong, stable now, but I can handle this book. If you think you can't handle uh, the theme of the book, I think you better not read it. It might trigger you. But for the rest of you who's happy and healthy, this is a good book. You might uh, understand the situation of people with mental illness if you read this book it's it's really really good a good uh why a book about mental illness so that's it i'll talk to you on the next one bye